everybody welcome back to my youtube channel for today's video i'm going to be showing you what i picked up in primark so if you want to see my august primark haul then please keep watching if you're new to my channel firstly hello and welcome my name is emma i am a mummy of two i've got a daughter darcy she is eight and my son oliver who is almost five so we post lots of different content on our channel you'll see lots of things from hauls like you're going to see today to organization cleaning vlog so i really hope you'll consider subscribing please before you leave don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and let's jump straight into the video so i popped into primark on the weekend and i came out unexpectedly with a couple of bags but i feel like that always happens to you when you go into primark so i this not in any particular order we're going to kind of do like a lucky bag style dip in see what we come out with so there's mainly it's things for me which I feel really guilty in saying but I'm always conscious on what I actually need is to because I could go in and just pick up a bunch of things but I don't necessarily need it so um what I do plan to do I do this really regularly with the kids I go through their clothes and things that don't fit them anymore or they haven't worn I will always list on my Instagram page so I'll link that down below um but I have obviously a main Instagram page and then I have a pre-loved page and which is where I sell all of Darcy and Ollie's clothes so if you want to check that out there's still quite a lot on there and it's sold for really reasonable prices prices and what I'm going to be doing is popping mine and Tom's clothes on our Depop page so again I'll link that down below if you want to check that out but um, as I said it's mainly things for me um, but I was just very mindful when I went in as to do I actually need it so the first thing and I feel like I did actually need this is a night shirt and it's really it's from the wellness collection um if you've watched my other primark haul you'll know i'm absolutely obsessed with this section it's beautiful um and i saw this night shirt i've been eyeing this for a couple of weeks but i bought a short set last time so i didn't pick this up but i figured this would be perfect for the hot nights because it is so lightweight um and also going into winter and i got mine in a medium which is um, class is a uk 12 to 14 and i just wanted to get this so it would be oversized on me I can obviously roll the sleeves up and it is so long so I'm really excited about that and it just feels so luxurious and this was £10. Um, I mean this is something that you'll see in the white company and it will be a lot more expensive than £10 so that's the first thing. Um, next up I just got a pack of trainer socks. Um, me and Darcy are within the same size um which is a two to five so we can share those i bought two packs and these feel lovely actually and they were three pounds for five pairs and it's the um breathable cotton so the it's kind of like a mesh design on the top and underneath with a solid toe and heel so i thought they'd be perfect next up i picked up a pack a couple of packs of scrunchies so i love wearing these um i've been really into just wearing my hair really loose if it's in like a low pony because it's majorly do a cut or just if I'm wearing it half up half down um and I saw these colors and I just had to have them so obviously Darcy will share these with me also so this first pack was two pounds and you get three and the next pack was one pound fifty and again it's a three pack so they were absolutely adorable I just picked up another pack of cosmetic pads they're 90p and I think you get 100 in here yeah 100 says right there um I love these just to pop my toner on morning and evening and if I've got some stubborn eye makeup stains so I always need those in my bathroom okay next up I got from the beauty section now I haven't the last couple of times I've been in there I've not picked anything up but I picked up these eyelash curlers um they're rose gold and the handle is clear glitter and they were actually they're three pound full price which is an amazing price anyway but they were on sale for two pound so I thought I would give them a go because I am in desperate need of a new pair of eyelash curlers and their makeup section and hair section is actually lovely I was looking for the um makeup setting spray that I've seen everybody rave about it's meant to be a dupe for the max fix plus but our store in Bristol Cabot Circus was sold out so obviously I'll keep my eye open when I go in again okay next up i grabbed a couple more packs of hair ties so first of all i've got these clear elastic ties to say 500 you get in here and they're a pound so if we've got our hair in kind of like plaits or whatever um myself and darcy will use those and i mean that is going to last us forever 
And then next up I picked up, I don't really know what these are called. Um, again, they're a hair tie, but they're kind of like the plastic spiral. So they're supposed to not pull your hair. I really like wearing these and also um, if you haven't watched any of my other videos you will obviously won't know but my son has long hair so when it's hot we do just kind of pop it up in what we call a, a man bun which is like a loose bun on top of his head and these are ideal for popping that up and I use them as so does Darcy so we got these I'm not sure if it tells me how many there are lots in here though and they were a pound as well so you can't go wrong with this from Primark. Lastly from the beauty section I picked up um this styling spray so it's the glam styling spray and it was £2.50 so yeah it's just to style your hair and give you a bit of volume which I need up here because my hair is quite thick and long it tends to just pull the the top bit down so yeah I'm not sure if this also acts as a shine spray which I also enjoy using so I'll let I'll keep testing that and I'll let you know but £2.50 absolute bargain Okay, now moving into the clothes, what I'll do is I'll show you and then I'll pop them on just to see how they fit. But I've been in desperate need of a pair of denim shorts that aren't super tight on my legs and on my hips. I don't like feeling that really constricted. So I thought I would give the Primark ones a go. I've never bought any shorts, uh, denim shorts from Primark. These were £10 and they're the high-waisted mum shorts. So obviously the design of them is supposed to be loose. Um, I picked mine up in a 10, sometimes I will even go up a size to a 12 just so they're a bit loose, I'd rather wear a belt and have lots of wiggle room in them, so we'll see how these fit, but I just liked the colour of these because they're not overly light, and I just thought they were really nice denim, so we'll pop those on and we'll see what they look like. They do look okay on camera, um, there's nothing wrong with them, but personally, they are quite, I don't have much room in them, especially here. So I hate things being really, really tight. So I possibly could have sized up in these. Having said that, I don't know then if they would have been too loose because I do have quite a bit of room there. So I think, obviously after I've worn them a few times, denim does kind of stretch anyway. So I'm hoping with me wearing them a few times, they'll get a little bit more comfortable. I mean, I don't necessarily enjoy wearing shorts a whole bunch. I'm I prefer dresses um, I just find they're so much easier to wear they just hang and just look lovely um, but I'm trying to force myself to get into wearing shorts because especially when it's hot I can wear like a nice strappy top so yeah that's how they look so they are quite high-waisted usually I like them to come up past my hips because this is where I hold all of my extra weight normally so in the tops of my legs and my hips so the ideal pair of shorts for me is to come up higher and a bit lower um right next up i picked up this dress now this again was in clearance it full price was 15 pounds but it was actually in clearance for seven it's just kind of like a really nice beige color um and it's got detail of ruffle all the way down so it's like a, a midi so it's not quite a maxi dress it's kind of like just below the knee length and I just thought it would be lovely, um, and for £7 I couldn't not pick this up. Now, the size does look quite big, so I picked up an 8. Um, usually I would get a 10 because of Primark sizes, they're not necessarily accurate compared to other stores, but the 10 did look like it was quite big across the um, chest area, and I just thought it would be too baggy. Um, so I'll try this on, but yeah, I really love this. It does fit really well. Um, it's literally the perfect fit so I'm glad I went with this size but seven pounds absolute bargain so yeah really 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 like this okay next up I've really been enjoying wearing just plain black biker shorts um, and leggings um, I just feel so comfy when I'm at home and I've been wanting to get another kind of like oversized jumper and I saw this this was 12 pounds and it says just be nice so again lovely words on the front which i wish more people would <laughs> stick to and just be nice um but yeah i got this in a large purely for the fact that i want it oversized and the material is so soft um so yeah i'm really excited about this there's nothing better than coming home and popping your comfies on and being nice and comfortable while you're at home now sticking with the com 
comfy theme i picked up a pair of joggers again when i come home it doesn't matter if i've been out shopping or whatever i mean today is very hot which is why i'm in a dress um so i won't be putting my comfy joggers on but usually the first thing i'll do is come home and change into my comfy trousers and loungewear so i picked these up i got a small which is a size 10 to 12 they were at 10 pounds and they're kind of like in a really dark gray so i just thought they were lovely they're cuffed at the bottom and again they are so soft their jumper and loungewear in primark is just so so soft i mean i've got a pair that i bought from topshop and these feel so much softer than those that i own so yeah i'm excited to be cozy and lounging in these now this next top is very very creased so i do apologize but it's just been sat on the bag in the landing because i wanted to film this haul but this is just something you know when you just walk past and you spot something and think i need that there was just no qualm about it i just needed this so i thought for winter if i just wanted to look a little bit more put together and not so casual this was six pounds i got a size small which is a 10 to 12 um but the size doesn't look overly overly big so i did also contemplate getting the medium so i'll have to try this on and see how it fits but it's just black it's got a peplum bottom with long sleeves so i just thought it would look lovely when the weather's a bit cooler with jeans if i'm heading out and just a jacket so i really you'll see lots of if you watch any of my other hauls coming up for autumn and winter this is my sort of style just very basic plain tops that i can just accessorize and dress up okay i've just i wouldn't wear this together but i just thought i would pop this on to show you just in one go so this is the top so really lovely super soft really easy to wear perfect size and it's just got the peplum detail on the front okay and last up clothing wise i picked up this dress so i got this actually from the um swimwear section and it was with the cover-up so i'm guessing it's supposed to be a cover-up but i just thought it'd be perfect for while the weather is really hot and again i can use this as a cover-up if we go on holiday it's not something that I would probably ever get bored of because this is my sort of style, really floaty dresses. I find it really flatters my shape um, and my body. So that's the sort of dresses I wear. So this was £12. I got it in a small. Now, it is quite see-through. So I'm going to see what it's like on. Um, obviously, I'm probably going to have to wear... You can either pop a slip dress under like a long vest under it as well. So we'll see what it's like. And the straps you just do up. So you can obviously adjust it to how long or short you want it. So here's the body. So again, you can see it is quite see-through. But I'll just buy a longer vest to sit underneath. But I just think styles like this are so feminine and so pretty. So that's going to wrap up my Primark haul. I hope you enjoyed the pieces that I purchased. As I said, I tend to be really mindful when I'm going in as to whether I need it. Um, and if you want to check out any of our pre-loved, I will leave the links down below. Um, but please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up really does help support my channel it lets youtube know that you're enjoying the content i'm putting out and if you're not already i hope you'll consider subscribing um and without further ado i'm going to leave you there so i will see you in my next video bye everyone Down, i don't know why i know it's so surreal think i want you here oh 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 i don't ask for much no i don't need that much yeah